Wow. That's fantastic. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I am gonna talk to you about over 30 big money bolos, items that my Facebook group members sold in July for big money. This is what the post I posted in my Facebook group, and this is what they responded to. They told me where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And I'm gonna show you guys these big money bolos. Definitely items that we should be searching for when we are out at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales. If you are not in my Facebook group, I will link it down below. We are cutting very close to 70,000 members. That is absolutely crazy. This is available for anyone in the group to share a bolo and then I put it in video format to help everyone learn. So the first bolo, he said, I picked this up at a yard sale along with four others uh, four other ones for a dollar each a few weeks ago. One already sold last month, took about two weeks to sell, sold at full asking price on eBay. It is a Flash Leopard 2 Beyblade Force Has Hasbro um, open box, $79.99 on that. Picked this up at a yard sale a few months ago for $3 and it took about two months to sell at full asking price. It is a um, Frigidaire Whirlpool, Whirl Whirlpool Ice Maker, and it sold for $64.99. Picked this up at a yard sale a couple weeks ago. I got this in a lot with other Arbonne, I think that's how you say it, Arbonne stuff for $3 altogether. This took a little over a week to sell at full asking price. So it is the Advanced Instant Lift Gel, discontinued $79.99 on that. All right, so this is a set of large antique cast iron ornate ball and eagle claw feet for a bathtub. How cool is that? He paid $5 for it and sold it for $75. This is an electric chicken bucket. I bought it at an estate sale auction with various kitchen items. I really only wanted a wooden tater box tatter tater box for myself that was in the lot. No idea what that is. I paid about $2 for everything. So excited to see what these were worth. There are some that are not electric that aren't worth as much, but lucky me, this one was electric. It sold for $150. It is a wherever electric chicken bucket. <laughs> How fun is that? All right. Garage sale paid $200. 300 with a bunch of camera gear, sold for 10,000, buyer already pay, paid. Vintage military lot. He said the buyer paid. Wow, that's fantastic. Um, I'm wondering how much he would have got if he would have parted it out. It's probably a reseller buying it, but a lot of times, you know, people just want the quick flick flip. Got this heavy silver painted piece of concrete mounted on a black painted wood piece and a lot of three items for a dollar. Was an online auction, so in it for about 33 cents. Did a seven-day auction and sold for 99 plus shipping. How fantastic is that? Okay, quick flip on eBay. Not big money, but it was a porch pickup and free. Sold in less than three hours. I listed for 45 and took a best offer of 40. New uh, Canon black ink cartridge. Mercari sale. Paid 19 on a local selling site. Person does not have good reviews as a seller and only two reviews as a buyer. So I'm hoping all ends well. Um... KKW Diamonds Courtney Yellow Fragrance Perfume Spray sold for $199. She said, yes, delivery today, got rated today, and got paid. Score. Awesome. I'm glad she gave us an update. Uh, number one, got a huge lot of stamps at a local thrift on half off day. Whole lot, 30 plus stamps, about $1.60 a piece. Total $60 to $70. 
So far, gross 365, all full price except one, had listed for 60 and took a best offer of 55. These um, stamps are Holly Pond Hill and House Mouse. And I do have a video on uh, wood rubber mounted stamps to be on the lookout for. House Mouse is one of them that I talk about in that video. This is what the video looks like. Definitely go check it out. Holly Pond Hills, I have not heard of. So this is new to me. She said, the Holly Pond Hills have been going to China through freight forwarders. I am sure I will sell more by the end of July. Bought these last week of June and all of them were listed from first week of July last week. Um, let's see. She said another 130 worth sold today. Again, all going to China. So, hmm, wonder what's going on with that. You know, sometimes I know that happens with like the vintage toddler dresses. A lot of those go through um, a different company and are shipped to China. I am going to pop up this. She's got a, um, she's showing us six of them, but you can see um, one sold for 130, 40, 55, 50, 55, and 55. So Holly Pond Hill. Hmm. All right, 1962 Barbie's friend Midge found at the Goodwill bins took an offer of 135 plus shipping going to Canada. So this is what she looks like. That is fantastic at the bins. Wow. Bought this for a dollar at the Salvation Army. And because of your great channel, I knew it was a bolo. Oh, thank you so much. Sold within a couple days, listed it for $89.99. But when I got the $80 offer, I grabbed it. Thanks for all your information. So helpful. Thank you so much for the feedback. I appreciate it. And thank you for sharing that you learned about this from the channel. I love it when you guys share with me how you, um, that you learned something from the channel. Unfortunately, I cannot see what the listing is. Oh, it's a uh, jock strap. <laughs> I did share that before. Oh my goodness. So funny. Yeah. Vintage jock straps are definitely a bolo. Found two at a, home, a small town thrift store, 50 cents each, and went back and found a third, and they sold very quickly. Um, it looks like they are Boy Scouts pants. This is what it looks like. Purchased for $1 to $3 each. I collect these over several months. Decided to try my hand at selling as a lot. Listed for $124.95, took a best offer of $105. Even though it took a larger box than anticipated, my label cost was only a few cents more. They are white milk glass vases um, lot. Wedding, showers, florist, shabby, 17. Um, this one comes from Laureen's, I think it's Books and Things. I'm going to post it right here and I will also link her down below. She is a Bolo Buddies member. Uh, I did post about something similar to this a long time ago. I haven't seen anybody do it recently, but they collect these little vases and these are white and they're great for like weddings. So people that are looking to like decorate their tables at their weddings, they will buy these in a, in a lot. So great idea. I have seen it done before from other people, but, um, definitely something to keep in mind kind of a pain to ship, but um, it all adds up, right? I know a guy that does this with um, brass, like candlesticks and stuff like that. Got this at a parking lot yard sale for a dollar, sold for a, in about two weeks. Auction resulted in no interest, took a best offer of 25. It is a rare bobblehead mascot, Texas Roadhouse, Andy Armadillo. Got this Grateful Dead vintage t-shirt from a girl cleaning out a storage building, paid $2. Put it on auction and a buy it now of 74. It got several bids and someone paid the buy it now within 24 hours. I thought once it had bids that the buy it now what didn't work. Hmm. If anybody can let me know, that would be great. These were free to me. They were my grandfather's snakeskin boots sold in about a week, listed high at 90 and took a best offer of 50. They are vintage ACME Western snakeskin cowboy boots. My favorite bolo for the month. I bought these at a local salvage store for $1.59 a bag. Buyer paid $32.99 for three bags. They sold within hours of posting. I had I sold 24 bags total within three to four days for $277.43. They are Cheetos Sweetos Cinnamon Sugar Puffs. Ah, that sounds disgusting, but somebody likes them. 
paid $10 for three vintage PlayStation magazines on Facebook Marketplace, and this rare Resident Evil 2 magazine sold for $98. Anything Resident Evil is highly collectible, so be on the lookout. Right there. Sold this vintage DMX magazine for $60. I paid $20 six months ago on Facebook Marketplace for three huge totes filled with vintage rap and hip-hop magazines. I've sold multiple magazines for $100, and the total so far I've made is 2,000 gross sales on this deal. Be on the lookout for XXL, The Source, Blaze, and Murder Dog magazines. Awesome. Okay. I was lucky enough to be on a random Friday... There was a yard sale, fill a bag. I ended up spending $30 for multiple bags of goodies. This was one item. There was damage to the silver area, paint missing. I disclosed all in the listing. I was very happy with the outcome. It is a 2010 WWE Divas Wrestling Championship replica title belt, adult size collectible, $87. Found this at Park Avenue Thrift while visiting my son in Georgia. Paid $5 and sold for full asking price in two months. It's a Williams-Sonoma open box harvest pumpkin platter. And it looks like it sold for $119.99 plus shipping. This one comes from Where Pigs Fly Farm. And um, it is a nonprofit. Definitely go check out their eBay store and YouTube channel. All of the money that they make from those things go towards their nonprofit farm. Hello, my name is Cindy. I'm the owner of the Wear Pig Fly Farm out in Lynn, Missouri. We are a farm animal rescue here. And to help us pay the bills, we actually sell things on eBay. Things that we purchase at uh, auctions. I purchase storage units and then some things we have donated. My uh, bolo this month was uh, uh, very unexpected. A lot of times when I get things in, I'll throw the smalls into a box or into baggies, set them to the side, try to list my bigger things first, get them out of the way. Anyway, I ran across this, a little poker chip. Now, I had seen on other bolo videos where poker chips could go for pretty decent money. I looked this one up, couldn't find it on eBay, found it on Worth Point. The last one sold for over $300. Threw mine up for auction. And boom, it sold for over $400 to a collector. So keep your eyes open for uh, these poker chips. This one comes from Jody over at YouTube channel Toy Attic. Definitely check her out. She knows so much about toys, but she sold these stickers for big money. She said, I went to an estate sale and did a fill a bag for $10. I got hundreds of stickers and other ephemera. I have about five cents into each of these. The gingerbread sold before I got the email notification that it was listed. And one sold for 125 and this one sold for 100 We go to a little Saturday night junk auction from time to time. We bought a clear tote with a lid for $2 because nobody else wanted a bunch of dishes. I've been on the lookout for totes. We found this little four and three quarter inch plate in there and I haven't seen one like it and it may, and I may never again. So aluminum, he still has a $6 price tag from Sears on the back. And when doing research, a little research on it, found out it was made from the wings of butterflies. Apparently this was common in the 60s. So we put it on eBay for $54.65 and turned on best offer. Sold in less than a month for full price. And this is what it looks like. Got two of these vintage turkey blow molds by Union Dawn Featherstone at a garage sale. When I walked in, they stated everything was five for a dollar. I racked up. When I saw these, I was so excited because Bolo have sold both of them within two days of listing. And they sold for $124.90 or $124 each, it looks like. Bought for 70 on a local selling site. It was actually listed for 75, but she forgot about our meetup. So because I had to wait 30 minutes for her, she felt bad. So she gave them to me for 70. Best sale I've had. Probably could have gotten more, but I was glad with, with the sale. I had it listed for $599, $599 and took a best offer of 400. I think it was less than five days to sell. It is a Lego EV3. Mindstorms Education 2 Core Set. Wow, that's what it looks like. 
Blink 182 Stomping Rabbit Long Sleeve Shirt picked up at the bins. My bins is $1.19 a pound. Paid 50 cents for it. Sold for full asking price to Canada. And this is what it looks like. Steadfast and true bolo that never fails to sell quickly. Bought for $2 at a yard sale. Accepted in an offer of 51 Sold in two hours. It is in a Texas Instruments T. I-84 plus graphing calculator tested and working. All right, you guys, that was all uh, of part two. So if you didn't check out part one yet, definitely go check out part one. These are big money bolos from members of my Facebook group. If you are not in my Facebook group, definitely go down below and join and go under the featured um, it's featured or announcement section of the group and you will find a monthly post where you guys can share a bolo to have it featured in a, vid a video like this. If you would like a shout out to your YouTube channel or your eBay store, you can join memberships at level two and you'll get that shout out. Thank you guys so much. There's going to be videos popping up here and here, a subscribe and a video down below. Um, definitely uh, subscribe if you haven't already and check out one of those videos. I also have links to the members that were featured in this video down below, along with other things that I use for my business. So check out the description of the video and thanks for watching.